welcome friends today we are going to discuss a very important topic from the point of view of ibps so examination that is photosynthesis so let's see some introductory part of this topic so we all know that photosynthesis is the process which is used by plants algae and certain bacteria to harness energy from sunlight into chemical energy and uh, uh, an important fact about photosynthesis is that 90% of photosynthesis is done by marine and freshwater algae and uh, regarding its history uh, i have noted down some uh, points so this is a brief history first one is the green hills green hills uh, who told that plant nourishes from leaves and sunlight then ingen hall uh, said that chlorophyll and light participate in photosynthesis process then jen senebier uh, he told that uh, uh, in photosynthesis oxygen is released and co2 is taken d sausre explained the gas exchange uh, and the libig libig we all know libig uh, he uh, told that carbon in plant is due to photosynthesis and one important uh, uh, law given by libig is the law of minimum or law of limiting factor uh this is also important and um, most of the time this law is also asked that law of minimum is uh, uh, given by law of minimum says that yield is proportion proportional to amount of most of the limiting nutrients so now moving to the slide uh, so first of all we uh, we discuss about the pigments uh, that are very necessary for photosynthesis so first one is the chlorophyll chlorophyll uh, i have quoted some points about chlorophyll which are important from for the exam point of view first one is it is soluble in organic solvent so question may be asked like uh, uh, it is soluble in what uh, like organic solvent in organic solvent hot water so we should fill organic solvent and second one is it occurs in grana and associated with thylakoid membrane so this is the structure of chloroplast where uh, it is shown here where, uh, which is thylakoid this is stroma granum so all the parts are shown so uh, its location can be asked then third point is tetrapyrrole structure with magnesium as center and base unit porphyrin ring so uh, now second one is the carotenoid which is a mixture or we can say that uh, carotene and xanthophyll together called carotenoid and carotenoid is a fat soluble yellow pigment it absorbs energy and transfers to chlorophyll a so it basically act as uh, energy absorber which transfers its uh, the energy absorbed in it to the chlorophyll a and uh, the principal yellow pigment of maize it can be asked in examination that uh, what is the principal yellow pigment of maize so it's geaxanthin as you know gia maize is the scientific name of maize so geaxanthin is the uh, pigment so it's uh, pigment uh, which is used uh, which is found in the maize and the third one is phycobilin phycobilin is soluble in hot water and it has tetrapyrrole structure with strain chain and here no magnesium uh, contained in it and phycoerythrin there are two uh, phycobilins phycoerythrin and phycocyanin phycoerythrin is found in the uh, red algae and uh, its color is red due to phycoerythrin and phycocyanin is found in blue blue green algae so now moving to the next slide so there are basically two types of photosynthesis first one is oxygenic photosynthesis and second one is an anoxygenic photosynthesis so uh, oxygenic synthesis uh, photosynthesis uh, means light energy transfers nutrients and light energy transfers electrons from h2o to co2 to produce carbohydrate in oxygenic photosynthesis here light energy is transferring electron from water to carbon dioxide to produce co2 as it can be shown in the uh, equation given here and in an oxygenic photosynthesis electron donor is not water it is other than water as i have written here h2a it's not water other than water then it is an oxygenic and if water transfers electron uh, from uh, co uh, from 
H2O2 uh, CO2 to produce carbohydrates then it will be oxygenic so this may be asked then the phases in photosynthesis basically there are two phases of photosynthesis process first one is light phase and uh, as the name suggests it occurs in uh, it is light uh, comprises of light sensitive and phyto, uh, photochemical reactions and the dark phase comprises of temperature sensitive and blackman reaction so the basic reactant is co2 and h2o in presence of light energy and catalyst which are pigments and the product final product is carbohydrate and oxygen now sometimes uh, question are also asked like uh, which of the following pigment is not found in uh, photosynthesis so anthocyanin anthocyanin is not a photosynthetic pigment it, it is found in cell sap but it doesn't contribute in photosynthesis so we must uh, note down these things so let's move on to next slide so uh, uh, this is a brief introduction of light reaction so in light reaction uh, there are the, uh, these steps are there first one is the photolysis of water so in light reaction uh, water gets photolyzed then ph photophosphorylation so these two processes occur in uh, light reaction and the final products are half molecule of o2 uh, which is released to the atmosphere then atp nadph2 and atp nadph2 these two are the reactants for the dark reaction so uh, this causes initiation of dark reaction the uh, end of your, or accomplishment of light reaction causes initiation of the dark reaction and light reaction is initiated by green pigment now let's see about dark reaction so dark in dark reaction basically co2 is reduced uh, for uh, carbohydrate and uh, atp and, and uh, nadph2 are the desired product for reduction so these are from the light reaction and uh, then dark reaction occurs so there are two pathways for electron transfer in pigment system uh, uh, two pathways first one is cyclic and second one is non cyclic so uh, there are two terms here ps1 and ps2 so ps1 uh, says pigment system 1 and ps2 pigment system 2 so in cyclic process only ps1 occurs that is pigment system 1 only occurs and uh, the wavelength should be less than or equal to 680 nanometer for cyclic process and in cyclic process no water photolysis occurs and the product is only 2 atp so uh, we can say that ps1 is for longer wavelength while uh, ps2 for at shorter wavelength so non cyclic process non cyclic both ps1 and ps2 and product is nadph2 and it involves photolysis so let's move on to the next slide so these are the terms that are generally asked first one is photosynthetic unit so photosynthetic unit comprises of 2500 molecules of chlorophyll so 2500 molecules of chlorophyll is said to be one photosynthetic unit and the next term is red drop red drop is the decrease in quantum yield or photosynthetic rate after using monochromatic light for a longer time so if we use monochromatic light for a longer time then there will be uh, decrease in the photosynthetic rate this is called red drop and uh, the other term is immersion effect uh, for photosynthetic yield so it says that for uh, mixed light photosynthetic yield is more as compared uh, is more and it is even greater than the sum of the photosynthetic yield in case of larger wavelength and shorter wavelength it is written here and uh, the three pathways of dark reaction are c3 c4 and cam so these are three uh, pathways uh, which explains dark reaction and it is very important from the point of view of examination because uh, generally these questions are asked like which uh, of the following is c3 plant which of the following is c4 and which is cam and one important point is that c3 plant is also called c3 is also called c3 pathway is also called kelvin cycle and uh, c4 is called hatch and slack cycle while the cam is cam cycle that is 
क्रेस्क्यूलेशियन एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस क्रॉप्स लाइक वीट राइस बार्ली पल्सेस दिस ऑल आर सी फ्री प्लांट एंड फर्स्ट स्टेबल प्रोडक्ट इज सी फ्री कंपाउंड इन सी फ्री प्लांट दिस इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नोट डाउन एंड दिस इज पी जी ए दैट इज फॉस्फो ग्लाइसेरिक एसिड दिस इज द थ्री कार्बन कंपाउंड विच इज फॉर्म इन सी फ्री पाथवे एंड इन सी फोर पाथवे सी फोर प्लांट आर शुगर केन मेज सॉर्गम बाजरा एंड ऑल बैड वीड दिज हैव क्रांच एनाटॉमी इन देयर लिप्स सो क्रांच एनाटॉमी इज वॉट क्रांच एनाटॉमी इट लैक्स ग्रेना एंड कंटेंट्स स्टार्च ग्रेन एंड इट इज वेरी लार्ज इट ऑल्सो लैक्स पी एस टू दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड पी एस टू दैट इज पिगमेंट सिस्टम टू इज लैक्ड इन क्रांच एनाटॉमी सो वी जस्ट हैव टू नो समथिंग अबाउट क्रांच एनाटॉमी दैट इट लैक्स ग्रेना इन दैट क्लोरोप्लास्ट स्ट्रक्चर दैट आई हैव सोन अर्लियर इन क्रांच एनाटॉमी द ग्रेना इज नॉट प्रजेंट एंड स्टार्च ग्रेन इज प्रजेंट विच इज वेरी लार्ज and uh, the ps2 that is the ps2 pigment system 2 uh, is absent here it lacks ps2 and hence dependent on chloroplast of mesophile for nadps2 because in ps2 nadps2 is formed so if ps2 is lacking then it depends on mesophile for formation of nadps2 which is important for the dark reaction and the first stable product in c4 pathway is oxaloacetic acid which is four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid c4 plants absorb co2 more strongly than c3 plants because phospho because pp carboxylase has high affinity for co2 so c4 plants absorb co2 more strongly than c3 plants this can also be asked so note down this point that c4 plants have more Uh, absorbance of co2 as compared to c3 plants and uh, so the channel for the transfer of four carbon compound formed in the c4 uh, pathway from mesophile to bundle seed is called plasmodesmata so plasmodesmata is the channel for transfer of four carbon compound from mesophile to bundle seed and uh, one important point is that law of minimum is not applied in c4 plants as high affinity for co2 is uh, is present in c4 plants so law of minimum that is given by liebig is not applied in c4 plants now the third one is crassulation acid metabolism that is cam so cam plants are those plants which uh, cam plants are generally they are slowest photosynthetic plants slowest photosynthetic it behaves as c4 in night and c3 in day and it fix co2 lost in respiration generally they are xerophytes with thick cuticle sunken stomata uh, to reduce the loss of water because they are found in uh, arid regions so to reduce the loss of water they have uh, sunken stomata and uh, it comprises of plants like uh, those from the family crassulaceae so we note down crassulaceae uh, which comprise of cactus and pineapple so uh, sometimes uh, like uh, uh, their family are also asked uh, about cactus then we should answer crassulaceae and then onion garlic uh, and xerophytes so these these are uh, this is all about the uh, dark reaction the uh, different pathways of dark reaction then uh, let's see a brief uh, introduction of warburg effect so warburg effect so warburg effect says that photosynthesis in algae is inhibited by oxygen in c3 plant so uh, now the sites for photosynthesis sometimes uh, generally asked like Uh, what are the different sites for photosynthesis so uh, which of the following is not a site for photosynthesis and there will there will be some options so we must note down there are three sites for photosynthesis first one is the chloroplast then para uh, peroxisome then mitochondria 
three important sites for photosynthesis are the factors affecting photosynthesis. Uh, this we have to uh, know because there are several relations on the basis of these factors. Now, first one is light. So, extreme light inhibit photosynthesis, which is called solarization, because it reduces water content by transpiration. Thus, uh, if water content is less, then it uh, uh, adversely affects photosynthesis. Though light is needed, but extra or extreme light condition inhibit photosynthesis, and the process of uh, extreme light uh, falling on the plant this is called solarization. It uh, enhances transpiration, and also low intensity causes stomatal closure, thus restricting CO2 entry. So, as the stomata closes and open is gained by the light dependent osmotic substance production so if light will be less then there will be less opening of stomata and therefore uh, there will be uh, less uh, photosynthesis and uh, one important point is there that is called compensation point so uh, let's define it light intensity at which photosynthesis intake of carbon dioxide is equal to respiratory output of co2 this point is called compensation point that is light intensity at which the photosynthetic intake of co2 is equal to the respiratory output of co2 so at this net photosynthesis is zero because it is compensating the effect of respiration and uh, generally the wavelength that is needed for photosynthesis lies between 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer and this is important to note down that 400 to 750 nanometer is needed for photosynthesis. Now CO2. At optimum temperature and light, CO2 is directly proportional to rate of photosynthesis. If more uh, CO2 will be there, then more photosynthesis rate will be there. But a high concentration of CO2 again reduces it. Very high concentration. The third one is temperature. So there is a temperature range. 10 to 35 degrees Celsius, which is optimum for photosynthesis. So between 10 to 35 degrees Celsius, there will be a uh, there will be a good rate of photosynthesis. If it will uh, be higher than this or lower than this, then there will be slowdown of uh, photosynthesis. So the fo uh, fourth one is water. Water has no direct relation, but causes stomatal opening and closing. So it has uh, somewhat a little effect on photosynthesis and uh, as in uh, low water there will be closure of stomata that uh, and uh, it adversely affects CO2 intake and hence photosynthesis is affected. And the fifth one is O2 that is oxygen. Oxygen retard photosynthesis as we have already discussed oxygen uh, retard uh, photosynthesis as according to Warburg effect also. Then the mineral, mineral, some specific minerals are very necessary for photosynthesis like magnesium uh, and uh, magnesium enhances photosynthesis as it is a mineral which is present in the pigment chlorophyll. So mineral helps in enhancing photosynthesis. So this is all about photosynthesis and uh, hope you, will, you all like this video. If you will like this video then uh, please share it as much as possible so that this limited information about the IBPS specialist officer exam will be circulated to all those who are interested to give this exam this year in the next year sorry okay thank you